Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we're working on page one of Cottage Life. And this is a pretty, pretty simple page. This is actually turning out to be a fairly simple album. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Oops, I'm missing a flap. I should have a three and a half inch flap. Here it is. I think, let me double check. Actually, it's not. Oh, here it is. It was just blending in. <laughs> this is three and a half inches. You're going to score a half inch on the three and a half inch side. And it's going to be installed on the left hand side. Ooh, let's go ahead and do that. But I made it too small, so that's not going to work. It needs to be three and a half by seven. Let's see, is that right? There we go. Sorry about that. I had trimmed the other one down a little bit shorter than seven, so that wasn't going to work. And then on the opposite side, we have a six and a half by seven. Six and a half by seven. There we go. And there's just a slight overlap and that's fine because we're actually gonna hold it together with this panel which is gonna get added. Okay, so we are going to use this green here. And this is upside down and it's from the six by six, sorry, eight by eight collection pack. There is no six by six. There we go. And then this is what's gonna go on top. And this blue is gonna get installed like so. And so we'll have a magnet behind here. So I'm gonna place my magnet on here, which I don't forget. I don't want to add that until I figured out. Oh, there's a magnet back here. I can feel it pulling. I think I'm just going to center this. But before I do that, I'm going to cover the back side. I have to think about that. So this is going to go like so, like so. The inside is planning on doing goes here, green, I was going to do this, and then I think another strip of green, and then we need something here. Once I make that decision, it needs to be three inches, will this work? It will, but I don't like the look of it. I don't like that either. Let's see what it looks like on the back side. Mm, I don't know, seems like a lot of green, what do you guys think? I am happy with that, but I want something else here. Pink or blue? Pink or blue? I think I'm going to pull in a pink. Hmm. 
Hmm, I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and lay this down and this down. And then we can decide on the centerpiece. I definitely know I want this green. Uh, this is from the 8x8 collection pack. Okay, and then I know I want this green over here, so that's pretty straightforward. But it needs to be trimmed down a little bit. Okay, just it. Looks good. And then once I get a couple of these uh, glued into place, um, I'll have my, my work surface will look a little cleaner and I can think. Keep setting it on top of that ruler. I know this is going to be uh, green here, and this is going. This panel is going to stick out. So I think if I do pink here, pattern here, then I'll pull the pink in over here again. That's what I think I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and lay down this. I just have to use this pattern. It's so pretty. And just from a size perspective, this is from the eight by eight and I cut it at six by seven or six by six and seven eighths. So it's essentially the same size as the flap. So when it's closed, it really won't be exposed. You'll only see it in the open position. Okay, now let's trim this to fit. And then hopefully we'll have enough left over to go here. If not, I'll just find some other pink. Looks good. Okay, let's see what do I have. I'm just trying to get a feel for how much overlap I'm going to have if I use that piece. Not as much as I want. So I want this to overlap. About that much. So that means I need a little over two and a half, so that's not close. Let's see if I can't find another piece of paper. Here we go. This looks like it'll fit. Yes, it will. So let's just go ahead and use this. Okay. 
Normally I wouldn't cover the whole thing, but it just so happened I had a scrap that fit, so why not? <clears throat> and you'll notice I didn't ink my other pink and I'm not gonna ink this one either. I think it's too messy on the pink. having such a hard time but it was okay so that's done so now we can go ahead and add this now you could just do a couple around the edge and then have a tuck spot on the other side but I'm just gonna glue it down as is We're ready to add our second magnet. Okay, that is page one, I think. Let's double check and make sure I've got all my surfaces covered. Yes, I do. That's beautiful. Okay, now it looks like it needs something, doesn't it? So I picked out this piece of chipboard and I'm gonna add it right here to the corner. But I think I'm also going to go through, and if I have any of the 12 by 12 um, it, of this, I'm probably going to fussy cut some of these roses out and sprinkle them throughout the book. Um, but I'm not done. I still have one page to go, so we'll see what's left in the end. I think I've got a little bit of pencil mark here that I need to erase that I can see. Okay, I think we're set. So I think that'll be a nice... Uh, front center photo, plus you've got room um, for a photo here and lots of room on the inside. That's page one. Be back soon. <laughs>